Done with J&J Essential Oil Creations, and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade rosemary and peppermint shampoo with just a few ingredients. So the first thing we're going to do is put in a half a cup of Castile soap, and I measured this beforehand, and it's just exactly a half a cup. Put that in, and then we're going to add, and there's different scents of the Castile soap that you can get. Um, this is the almond, I like that. There's other ones that have like a lavender or peppermint scent. So really the peppermint would really be ideal for making this one. Um, and then we're gonna add a half a cup of distilled water. And that's gonna bring us pretty close to the top of this bottle. This is a oop, eight ounce bottle. Bubbling up, it's, it's definitely a poo shampoo. And then we're going to add our essential oils. Um, the rosemary, I'm going to add about 16 drops. I'm not sure how much I have left in here. So Jean, my official counter. Can't see it? Uh, no, I can't see it. I'm not in my usual seat. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. One of the great things about peppermint, or about rosemary essential oil is that it helps you with your memory and you know at my age that helps <laughs> I knew it will help all right the next thing is just to put in two drops of peppermint and two and then cap it and shake it and it's ready to be used I will caution you that when you're using the shampoo um, darn it I got some on the outside of it you don't want to get it near your eyes, that peppermint and even the rosemary essential oil. If you get that in your eyes, it's going to burn. And if you rinse it with water, it's going to make it worse. So you would want to, you know, if you did get it in your eyes, you would really want to have like another oil. So keep your eyes closed when you're shampooing. So that's how you make your raspberry peppermint homemade shampoo.